Toxicity. It is a term that is prevalent in almost every gaming community. Whether that's in League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, and even in Chess.com. But today, I'm here to talk about Toxicity in Brawlhalla. And to find out why is Brawlhalla toxic. I'm just gonna straight up and say that Brawlhalla is one of the most toxic inducing game that I've played. Now let me just clarify, this video isn't supposed to be a rant video or me hating on it because I had a bad game. I'm here to look into why some people can be toxic and how Brawlhalla can bring out the worst in some people. But I think we should start from the beginning. I feel like most of us that have downloaded and decided to play Brawlhalla for the first time didn't think much about it. We probably booted the game up pressed play, queued up for free for all just because it was recommended, and either got zero to death from a lance or went up against other new players. But most importantly, it didn't matter if you lost, it didn't matter if you were taunted, and it didn't even matter if the other player had a passive playstyle. Why? Because in the beginning, any loss can be justified by telling yourself, oh, I'm new to the game, it only makes sense that I lost, so there's nothing to be mad about. But eventually as time passes, those same people will want to test their own skills. Maybe free for all became too easy and boring for them, so one day, they decided to get into a ranked match. This is the point of no return. So now let's fast forward a bit. They've played a good enough amount of ranked games and settled themselves on a specific rank. And I'm gonna guess, this is where most of you guys are at right now as well. But, now that there's a visible rank that defines how good or how bad you are at the game, most people will naturally get frustrated if they are not where they want to be. And this can result in some people getting into a very toxic behavior. Not to mention, frustration can also come in the form of a weapon, a legend, a playstyle, a taunt, a map, a gap, Brahala mobile app. Seriously though. Stop posting Brawlhalla mobile links everywhere. Nobody clicks on them. But in all honesty, I think toxicity spreads the most like a virus. If one person Fuck was toxic you. to you, Fuck you are more likely you. to be toxic to someone else. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, but what if I just ignore the taunts? If you can ignore every single taunt and every single match ever, and your gameplay and your mental doesn't get affected a single bit. You're probably a Terminator robot AI designed to play Brawlhalla. Or you're just a really positive guy. Like, I don't know, Bob Ross? Oh, and don't get me started on the report button. I don't think I've heard of anyone getting banned in Brawlhalla before and I know that you can get muted. But I still feel like the report button never does anything. Also, have you ever felt disappointment in your life? Let's say you're a diamond player. Well, now you're expected to win against every plat player, or you're gonna be seen as a boosted diamond player. The humiliation and shame that comes from losing can turn into quite a toxic thing. Oh, and let's not forget about input lag as well. Okay, so we all have that one legend we hate, but what if we verse someone who plays the same legend that you play as well? There will be no conflict in that case, right? Nope! It just becomes a contest of who's a better Koji. Well, since you said ranked is toxic, then I should play experimental to avoid toxicity, right? No <laughs> oh, way! Experimental is probably more toxic than ranked. Okay, so it seems like avoiding toxicity in Brawlhalla is just impossible at this point. Is it even worth playing at all now? No. No it isn't. And you know what? I think I'm gonna say it. No, I'm actually gonna say it. Brawlhalla is a game where toxicity is exposed everywhere and anywhere to the point of being unplayable. There is no escape to it. As a matter of fact, I think this game sucks in general. It isn't even fun. It has so many problems both in the game and in its community that I don't think it's even worth playing anymore. That's right, I'm uninstalling this piece of shit. But, at the end of the day, 
all everyone wants to do is win in Brawlhalla. That is technically the only objective of the game. And speaking of a game, I think every gaming community out there is just as bad or even worse than Brawlhalla. And now that I think about it, I think I was too focused on the negative side of Brawlhalla. Even though in reality, 90% of the community are actually really nice and cool people. And the game is actually fun and balanced compared to some other games. But regardless, I think we can all learn a valuable lesson here. There will always be toxic people out there. But whenever you encounter one, just know that their behavior is probably influenced by the fact that they just want to win. Or that they're just a troll. Whatever the case may be, let's just try to make the new season better without letting toxicity 